what's up party people <laughs> what's up everybody it's your girl chi and i'm back with another video oh we man i feel like i'm in my element when i do these girl talk videos um man if you have known me and have been with me since the beginning of time you know that i've been doing or i've been attempting to do these youtube video things for a long time for years like since i was a freshman in college that was like almost 10 years ago that was like 10 years ago um honey man if i just would have been consistent then who knows where i could have been but you know i think it's funny because as i'm talking about that that relates to what i want to talk about which is pursuing your dreams, going after the things that have been placed on the inside of you to go after. And just talking about all the things with my journey and the lessons I've learned and advice that I not only want to give to you guys, but to give to myself and remind myself. Um, but pursuing your dreams is interesting because with my story i've always been a creative i've always been into you know making music making art um even being creative as far as like sharing my thoughts and opinions and making a video about it posting it on the internet and going about my day like i feel like that in itself is creative um i've always been a communicator i've always been a healer i've always been someone that's into all the things that come with mental health self-care self-love poetry like just that's just always been my lane but i just never knew how to pursue all the things and i feel like there's grief in that there's grief in having all of these passions and not knowing how to walk in them. Like, do I focus on just one thing or do I try to incorporate all the things? Um, and then there's also grief in the fact that I have not been as consistent with pursuing my dreams the way I would have liked to. Um, I think there's grief in the fact that 10 years have gone by and you're kind of still in the same place when it comes to pursuing your dreams. There's grief in the fact that it's people that are younger than you that have started this journey and are way ahead of the game and you've been doing this as long as you can remember and you're still in the same place. And you're just getting older. Um, there's grief in the fact that I was unaware and uneducated on what it means to be consistent and disciplined in going after your dreams. There's grief in eventually then becoming educated and still lacking the discipline and the consistency to show up. <sighs> There's grief in a lot of different things when it comes to pursuing your dreams and I'm only speaking from my experience. I'm not sure everybody else's journey, path, or experience when it comes to pursuing your dreams. But I know for me, it's been tough, honey. It's been tough. Like, I'm just now sitting with the realization that there is grief. There is grief in the fact that I'm not where I would like to be. There's grief in the fact that had I had the education or the awareness or the understanding of you know sowing your seed and going after with hard work and consistency and faith and discipline that i could be in a completely different place right now there is grief in the fact that you feel like you've done what you know to do you've done your best you've you tried what you could try with the understanding that you have and yet you <sighs> shit didn't you know things didn't amount to the way you hope it would have amounted to there's so much grief in pursuing your dreams and 
I feel that we can't just stay there. You know, I feel like allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to feel the sadness. Allow yourself to feel the shame. Allow yourself to feel the frustration, the anger, the bitterness, the resentment, the regret, the depression, the anxiety, all the things that come with the disappointment of dreams not actualizing the way you would have hoped by a certain time or by a certain age. Allowing yourself to just recognize that, okay, I am here. And I'm here for a reason. And if I was supposed to be a multimillionaire or if I was supposed to have all this impact by now or if I was supposed to accrue this amount of success or this amount of followers or whatever it is that you are hoping to gain from whatever it is that you do just know that if that was supposed to have happened that's what would have happened like you would have had the education you would have had the awareness you would have had the discipline you would have had the consistency you would have had the right people around you to be where you assume that you would have been by now but that's not the case that's not the case and I don't think that sitting in grief longer than your spirit allows you to will do anything about it. It's not going to change the situation. It's not going to bring all of the success or all of this fulfillment or all the time back. Okay, I don't know what happened, but my, I guess, camera was overheating. Never heard that before, so just shut off and say that I need to let it cool. So I don't know, but we're just gonna keep it rocking and hopefully it don't do it again so I can get my point across. But yeah, I was saying that you know, sitting in the grief won't bring the time back, bring the whatever the thing is that you would have hoped to have achieved or obtained at this time into your life. Like, that's just mm -mm. yes. Send the grief, process it, learn the lessons, ask yourself, what happened? What went wrong? What did I miss? What did I not understand? What do I understand now? What do I do now going forward? Like, go through the process. Allow yourself to, like, really sit through it. And I had to go. I had to do that. And I'm still doing that. I'm still doing that. Um, and it's not easy. It's, it's very tough. It's uncomfortable. It's shitty. It's ugh. Especially when we're in a time now where it's so easy to compare. It's so easy to see everybody else and what they're doing. Um, and feel like I'm behind. Or damn, she ain't gonna win. She doing that. Or she got all these people watching her. Or she got all this impact. It's so easy to do that. It's so easy to do that. And that's not, again, going to help you get to that place. The only thing that's going to help you get to, and it may not even be the place that you imagine, but the only thing that's going to keep you from that consistent feeling of grief and regret and resentment and pain and all that is to show up. Show up for the dream. Start all over again. Keep trying again. Keep starting all over. Keep showing up. I know I'm called to do girl talk videos along with poetry and music and art. Along with self-care and being a therapist and all that. And I believe that in some way, somehow, some fashion, some form. <laughs> I feel like I said that all backwards, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. In some way, I do believe that God will bring it all together to make it make sense. I believe that 100%. I believe that there is a lane for me. I've been doing this stuff since I was a kid. I would put my teddy bears up on, you know the dresser pretending that they were my audience as I was doing my little talk show and giving advice. Same way as I was excited for my self-care products for back to school more than I was school supplies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Same as writing poetry and writing books and, and 
making music and wanting to be the star as a kid. And I feel like that has always been with me. And till this day, I show up in those ways in so many different ways. And it's just who I am. I believe that there's always truth to whatever God is trying to speak to you about where you are in your life. I feel like for me, maybe it was just my season to enjoy that this is who I am without the whole world knowing. But now I have a burden to show up and be consistent and do what I need to do to put my gift out there, to put, you know, my words out there, to put the girl talks out there, to put the art out there. And again, the camera cut out. So I'm going to wrap this up so I don't end up having the same situation keep happening. But I do feel this burden to show up and show out with all the things that God has placed inside of me. I don't believe that... Um, to keep idle or to keep silent the things that I feel a burden to release, a burden to share with the world. Um, and I also have to make peace with whatever fruit comes out of what I sow into. That, that is okay and that's my life. To not feel like, oh, well, because I don't have this amount of money in my account or I didn't amass this amount of followers or I didn't make this type of impact that I'm now unsuccessful. I don't believe that. I believe I'm successful when I show up and I do what I'm called to do. When I show up and I pursue the dreams with everything in me. When I show up and say yes to the call. When I show up and say yes to God. When I show up and say yes to my dreams. Even when I'm tired. Even when I don't feel like it. Even when it's uncomfortable, hard, scary, frustrating, all that. I'm going to still show up, especially now that I have this burden. So I speak to those that have this burden. They have a burden in you to show up and answer the call. Show up and answer the call. Pursue the dream. It's never too late. You are right where you're supposed to be because if you were supposed to be there, you would have been there. If you're supposed to be there, you would have been there. But you're here. You're here. So honor here. Don't let another 10 years go by. Don't let another five minutes go by. Show up now. Because now is all that's present, that's real, that's happening. So, <sighs> yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop it at that because, baby, if this camera could have pop on me again, <laughs> it's going to be a problem. <laughs> um, but I hope that. That spoke to you. I was just kind of free flowing with those thoughts. Of course, there's so much more I could speak on and share when it comes to pursuing your dreams. But I believe this is where I will stop right now. But be on the lookout for more of these little girl talks, these little chit chats, these little advice videos. Not little, but these advice videos. Um, and yeah, I hope that this inspired you, motivated you, moved you in a way that will help you think differently about your future and move differently about it as well. I love you guys. Mwah.